Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, me upgrading the RAM to a Dell Latitude 5420 rugged. Um, normally, it, it doesn't take that long to upgrade RAM in laptops, according to how fast you can get to them, but the rugged is a little different. And I'm just going to talk through it. Uh, why I done it today at uh, at my job, um, you know, you could send it to Dell or you could do it yourself. So it's a lot cheaper to order RAM off of Amazon and do it yourself. And this thing's not under warranty anyway, so why not? Uh, basically, a fifty um, dollar upgrade. Uh, for some reason, this Dell only had eight gigs. Of RAM in it and it's 2024 and this bumped it up to 32 so it flies now uh, it's kind of insane how much how much RAM helps Windows 11 it's crazy but uh, hopefully you guys like me talking uh, I'll just do a voiceover I don't know do you let me know in the comment section below before this video starts if you want me to record myself talking over it like put a video on top of the video that I already done just let me know uh anyways on to the unscrew so we begin uh first I thought it was on the other side uh, underneath the keyboard it's not you have to take off this whole back plate you have to remove the batteries you have to um remove the, the screws near to the batteries first uh, each of these little clamps on the left, right, and on the side where it holds in all the like, like little doors, you have to remove some of those, especially on the back corner or on the back of it, away from uh, the weird uh, docking. <clears throat> That's what that thing is. Whenever I uh, took this apart, uh, I wanted to reapply thermal paste because it, it this laptop is having some performance issues but uh, um I, I couldn't get the weird uh i thought it was a wireless card and it is but it looks like it's also where the dock uh, goes into it as well <clears throat> so if you guys are doing this realize you're going to have a lot of screws a lot more screws than you normally would taking probably a real like consumer latitude apart uh so many screws this is right here is where i'm taking the back part off because it's just easier to grab and hold on to but uh they're showing that off and here we're, we're access to it that's what i'm talking about this thing right here right in the middle that's where the dock the docking thing is uh i thought it, the, it, the wireless connected to it too so i thought it was the wireless card but i don't know why i thought that but here i'm putting it in the crucial ram we got 32 gigs going now insane upgrade really when you think about it uh, of course you don't want to you don't want to put everything back together without testing it first we put up one battery and flip it around make sure it comes on and bingo bingo you are we are in business and uh right here i'm just going through the bios real quick just to see if everything's set normally and i restore defaults uh but uh yeah, I would say this is a successful upgrade, a very successful upgrade. Going from 8 to 32 gigs in 2024 is a pretty big deal. Uh, this laptop will last a lot longer. It'll perform way, way better. I mean, this RAM's even faster than what was in it. Uh, I wish I had the speed off the top of my head while I'm recording over this, but I don't remember. Um, but yeah... Uh, you definitely want probably want to get a like a pad that holds screws better. I just use my desk. Uh, as you see, I don't have a lot of room when I do upgrades or repairs. Um, but uh, this is actually uh, in the production laptop. This is a Latitude 5420 Rugged. And uh, uh, a lot of the, the company I work for, uh, a lot of these field guys, they go out and uh, they need something a little bit more rugged because... Uh, they go out into the, you know, they go to people's houses and stuff like that. And uh, uh, they got to have something that'll last and get binged and banged. And um, that, that, that can take a beating, sort of, uh, sort of speaking. They're rough on them. Uh, and this, uh, 
I mean, they have to be. I mean, they're in and out of their vehicles all day and, you know, people's houses and businesses. And, yeah, it's just the, these things, uh, they uh, they get worked on. And uh, the, the, there's really only two different screws that's short that you need here. Um, the other screws are all the same, but I think there's two on the back rubber pieces is where the little ones go. I got confused with that and had to redo it. Uh but yeah, the there's only two small ones, and that's for the rubber feet. Um, the rest, I think, are the same length screws, so you don't really have to mix up a lot. There's two on the rubber feet that are different sizes. So remember that. Uh, I remember I had to take it out and put it back in. Uh, I think I put it near the battery here. Um uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys like these type of videos, let me know. I'll try to record myself doing more of these, um, seeing how they work. Uh, you, you know, show, show me doing some live repairs or recorded repairs. I guess this technically ain't live. Uh, I enjoy doing stuff like this. I enjoy upgrading computers, seeing how they run afterwards. And uh, it's awesome getting to do that at uh, my job sometimes. Uh, you know, this doesn't happen a lot. Mostly whenever you have a Dell machine or a machine that's under warranty, you mostly just get them to repair it, uh, where this machine isn't under warranty anymore, but it's still a good laptop. It's kind of like, uh, you know, might as well, you know, try to use it as long as we can. It's still a good laptop. Uh, it's a little underpowered probably now, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and share this. Leave a comment down below how I done. Check out techholler.com. Follow me over on Twitter.